Hello, this is Foxboy Fits Five Gaming, and welcome back to another Tremor episode. In the last episode, I guess you could say, we killed the Dark Emperor, and we also went and uh, killed um, the Lunatic Cultists. And so now we've got the Pillars back in our world. We actually killed the Stardust one. We've got the Nova one there, the Nebula one there, Solar there, Vortex there. And um, we might kill the Nova one in this episode. I'm not sure, but yeah. I suppose we, we might do these as well, I'm not too sure, I'm just making up them away. But yeah, um, in this episode we're going to be doing a bunch of other stuff. Oh god, oh god, I forgot to add the fragments. Can you imagine if like, I just like wandered off without the fragments? I don't know why I'm bothering putting these down, because these pillars are never going to come near. Oh yeah, we have quantum fragments, these are from my mod, but they don't do anything at the moment, because I haven't added in any of this stuff for the tool class. So yeah, that, that will be one of the playthroughs by the way, will be a tool class playthrough. I like how we've done this one. Yeah, we ain't got that for a while. Anyway, let's come back over. Uh, it is swapping to the Nova Pillar, so let's just come down. That is actually the Alchemical Pillar, but we're not going to worry about that for now. <laughs> is that Nightmare Ore? It is, actually. Oh god, they're here. Or some of them are, anyway. Ah, uh, these guys don't play around, either. Oh, we are getting a bunch of Alpha Plasm from them, though. That is actually what we've come down here for. Oh, there's a Skull. Skulker. I guess I'm not like playing a Shulker. But yeah, that um that guy's quite cool. Sorry, I'm just like sorting out something on my desk, right? Oh, like come on, drop me some alphaplasm. Well, these are also quite useful. Uh, oh god, this is our poot. I have not seen these guys in a while either. Come on, drop me some alphaplasm. I don't actually know how much we need. If you don't know what we're doing. We're down here to fight the space whale. I'm going to take the unicorn statue just because I want to. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be fighting the space whale in this episode. So, in order to do that, in the last episode we made be the star, but actually no, I did that in the, the failed episode. Well, the failed second part of the episode, I should say, because that one's been to two parts. Uh, this one I'm only hoping to be a one-part one, and then the rest of them be one-parters. That one should be the last two-parter. Because I don't really like doing two parts, I find them a bit awkward when you could just make one. But that episode was too long, I'm going to do render too slowly and stuff. Even though the second part was, uh, you know, laggier in, uh, long enough, so. Yeah, the main reason was, is because we spent ages trying to get the stuff to fight the space whale. Like, you know, we were after a bunch of... We were after all sorts, um, actually. We were after, like... You know, we were after uh, the. We needed to go and grab some bait. We needed to, um, you know, get a fishing rod, which took forever, just because we didn't know whether we had one. And we had to, um, we had to try and get, um, oh, what's it called? We had to try and fish for the shrimp, and then we had to go make the star bars. And well, it was took a very long time. Off the other actually used quite a lot of stuff. Uh, it is actually using the White Master's armor set, which is the the armor set for which we're going after, Voltage. That actually looks so cool. Crystal Hail. This is Hades armor. It's quite cool. That is like the, the final armor set, as you could say. What the fuck are you? Ancient Crystal. Sorry if I'm swearing a lot, by the way. Like, I normally don't in these episodes, but this episode I've decided I'm going to for some reason. Where's all my half plasm gone? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, where is it? No, it's uh, Krill. 16, we should... Actually, I don't think we have enough at all. Uh, ten, uh, ten, yeah, I don't think we have enough, but... You know what, it's fine. Let's just have a look. If we just come down here, we can go and put this in here, and then we can go and do this, and then maybe we'll be able to make the... Uh, to make the krill. Let's just have a look, though, because we probably... Well, so now I'm guessing we don't. We literally need two more alpha plasm, but you know what? That's fine. Right, we're gonna go past the alchemical pillar again. Literally, that pillar is the most painful one. <laughs> I think. Literally, that pillar does so much damage. And the mobs, look at them! They do so much damage. Tremor nerf them. Actually, there's not gonna be telling Tremor to nerf them because the runs, because the mobs are dead. Um. Yeah, apparently in about a year, by the way, the, the mod is going to have a bug fix just because it needs to go through um, and alter all the code. So, yeah, apparently in a year it's going to be fixed, but I'll probably want to play in Terraria in a year, so, you know, Terraria, God, I've never said Terraria before, it's always been Terraria. 
And uh, by the way, as a little argument, it is Terraria, because the mod um, creator actually does call it Terraria, so that shows that it is Terraria, not Terraria, so you're wrong. Uh, anyway, I don't know why that matters so much. Right. Let's see, we don't need to fight the space whale in space, which I know is strange, but it's a bit weird. A bit like how you didn't need to fight the fungus beetle in the mushroom biome. Uh, let's go over to be honest, we'll probably fight this gay, uh, gay, <laughs> oh god, uh, guy here. Um, yeah. Oh god. I did not want to go through this. Do you know what, why the hell did I, do you know what, let's do this pillar. Because I did want to do an episode where we fought the pillars. I wasn't going to do it this episode, just because I wanted to fight the space well this episode. Just because we, we got like two of the three ingredients in the last episode. When we had some of the third of the Alphplasm, the Alphplasm definitely is the, the, uh, the easiest thing to grab. Just because you just need to kill mobs in the dungeon. But, you know, I mean, compared to the shrimp. I mean, if you go fishing really early on, then, you know, you can definitely, you know, make life easier for yourself. Yeah, this pillar, this pillar has always been the hardest vanilla one. Like, you know, no other pillar has ever been as strong as the, the solar pillar. Like, you know, as I said, this pillar has always been tough. Do we have the warp pad? We do. Give me void bars, please. Ah, oh, of course it gives me everything else. The reason why we're after void bars is because, um, we need them in order to make our sprayer upgrade because this one's good but it's actually it's really good <laughs> because it's unique and it fights in long this we got another bag do you know what you can kill the die trade die trade is probably the second most useless npc in my opinion the most useless being the um uh the the painter <laughs> i mean the the guide is pretty useless as well wow really of course the, the bloody mini boss from my mod wrecks me Give me void bars. Oh, we're getting candy bars. Oh my god, really? Follow me all the way back here. I'm your mass I'm your creator. You should not be killing me. <laughs> oh, we got we've got one of these already, I know we have, so we're gonna put these band. This become like the pillar band uh, the pillar room. Isn't it can I remember like that game blown up or is that in another playthrough? I can't remember. I know in one of the playthroughs, <laughs> the box and A's at the bottom got blew up. I don't know what playthrough I was in. Anyway, solar pillar. Come on. And where is he? He's solar pillar. Right. Come on. As I said, I'm kind of, I'm not really boss rushing this, like trying to get to the end, but at the same time, no, I am. <laughs> There's actually a mod called, like, Improved Pillars, and it basically means that the pillars don't have a shield, but they have, like, twice as much health and defense. So it's kind of like you're better off using the shield idea. I prefer, I like the shield idea. It's just some of the mobs, like, especially in this pillar, is hard. I mean, you know, once we've done this pillar, that's it. Then we've got the Vortex Nebula and the, um, the, the Nova one. Nova is actually it's quite a tough pillar, to be fair, so... You know, I mean, I went in the OG one. I died so often to that stupid Nova pillar. Literally, it's these Corites. These do so much damage. I mean, the centipede things, we haven't um, gone past them yet, just because obviously we've, um, uh, yeah, we, we're not in the air, so none of them get to spawn. All I wanted to do in this episode was fight the space well and was to do a few of the pillars. I didn't want to do the pillars first and then the space well, right? Solar pillar, and the solar pillar hasn't actually got, um, um, much shield space left, like so. I've got a few more, but there you go. One of the centipedes was able to spawn then. Come on, right there we go. And why am I using this? Right, let's use some of these healing ones. The good thing about the um, the, the flasks is that they are AOE. Um, but yeah, it's a problem. Let's go and summon in this guy, my baby. Quit cat's coal. I don't know. I've never known how to say that. That's a that was one of the, the new things from the update. Like Tremor one point three was a massive update, and you know it was also Tremor's final update. And without that update, we wouldn't have the alchemical class. But I'm not exactly missing missing much. And again, we didn't get any void bars. Oh, right. Come on, the solar pillar shield you down, and there we go. Right, that's the. Um, in my opinion, this guy is just as painful as the novel. And like. Another one you can withstand. This guy you really can't. Back off. 
There we go. Well, let's head home. As I say, we have done that though now, which is good, and we got some more quantum fragments. As I say, at the moment they don't have a use, so they're kind of just sitting there. Uh, but the reason why they drop is because I, I added in the code recently to make them drop from each of the pillars. Eventually there is going to be a pillar, a bit like how Tremor added one in. Uh, there is going to be one for that pillar, and oh god, I thought I crashed then, I'm not going to lie. Because like, it wouldn't suck anything in. Right, now hopefully we can go back over without any interruptions and we can go and we can kill the space whale. It's actually not very far away the, the um, arena at all, is it? Right, let's do space whale! Right, as I said, this guy isn't very tough. You can withstand his attack. This meteorite shower does a lot of damage. Oh. As I said, um, it does actually say on the wiki that tremor bosses can be very tough if you're not prepared, and I agree with that. Space Whale, I will be honest, I've never really had problems with the Space Whale ever. In this sense, um, this meteorite form, you have to kill the, the meteors and then you can hit the Space Whale. What flash we use? All flasks can do enough damage. Like the basic ones probably could do at least more than one damage against this guy. Like these are hard mode flasks against a post moon or boss. Let's use some of these moon dust ones. I've got these ones. These are another post moon or flask. As I said, I think there's only like three post moon or flasks, and this is one of them. The other one being the cluster spin, and then there's the healing ones. I don't really want to get the healing ones before we fight the Trinity and, of course, Andus, just because Andus is going to be very tough. Ow! Don't do this to me. Where the hell is that whale? <laughs> to say it's a whale, his movements are a bit boring. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> say it's a space whale, like you know, I was ex I mean, what he does is kind of cool, but it's a little bit boring. Right. That was a, that was actually an, a uh, a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> then again, my armor, uh, as I said, our chemical doesn't provide the the most armor. But there we go. Right, let's go home. Uh, anything else we can grab? Uh, we got a bunch of shade ebon wood somehow. Don't know how that happened. Were they back? Oh, I need to go and grab that. What do we get? Uh, we got the last cannon, which is the linear you know, cosmic fuel, uh, which is a really useful weapon. We got another weapon as well. Right, I'll tell you what. We will in this episode try and um, make the the Trinity. So, what do we need to make the stone of knowledge? Right. Okay. We actually have, by the looks of it, a majority of it. Okay. We need this. We also need a stone dice. Now the stone dice, I believe, actually I know, that we actually have enough alpha plasm. Okay, so we need Eyes of Oblivion, Nightmare Bars. Uh, how many Nightmare Bars can we make? Uh, nightmare Bar. We can make one. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to go make some Nightmare Bars. I also wanted to go and make... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, I wanted to go and do the, uh, the the night of the undead. Actually, can we do that? Can we do the the night of the undead? What do we need to do that? I know that as I said, we are kind of rushing this series, but it's because you know this series has been long waiting, and you know we had a big break, and I just feel that it just needs to end. Well, what's it called? Scroll. Uh, bottled glue. Bottled glue. We need a light bulb and water. Right, let's just go and grab a water, uh, bottle. Uh, let's just go and grab a light bulb. We can actually go and buy light bulbs um, from a certain NPC, and I believe that it's the, um, the, the one from... Um, um, yeah, from Alchemist NPC. This one. Right, light bulb. Do you sell any more flasks? No. Oh. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. We'll try doing a bit of this and we'll try 
I guess making um, the the, um, the the other pillars. Whoa, these boots do a lot, especially with the dash. Like they can definitely go quite far. Right? Can we just make bottle glue like this? We can. Right, let's do the, the knife the undead. The knife the undead has actually scaled as well, actually, because we're in um, hard mode. So, I mean, we're in post moon lord, but I believe it scales in hard mode. Right, so scroll of the undead. Why can't we make a flesh workstation? We definitely have one because we've done this event before. Yep. Uh, bottle. Right, so scroll. What's that? The only thing super succeed. Okay. Right, and do you know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to go and shove one of these in here as well. Just so I don't forget. I nearly used it then. Right, the Night of the Undead has begun. As I said, this event is actually quite hard. Okay, these guys are the pre hard mode enemies. There is a, like a big ogre mini boss um, in this event now, which is quite cool. What the hell is that? Haunt hat. I'm guessing that's from that weird guy. Someone's a friendly ghost. What the hell? <laughs> Do you know what? It's cool. Well, that actually gives you 10% um, increase summon damage. So if you're actually a summoner, I'm actually quite useful. Right, that is definitely one of the new mobs, because I've never seen that thing before. Well, I've seen it before, like, in my other places, but that wasn't definitely there the last time we did it. Neither was this ghost, either. Yeah, as you can see, you can tell which ones are pre-armor, just because the, the souls are absolutely wrecking them. Zombies as well, they're uh, pre-armor. Whoa. I will be honest, this um, spray up is doing quite a lot of, uh, of damage. It definitely seems to be doing much better than some of the, the, the other things. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, here we go. A dapper block. I wonder why they're called that. Right, let's go into. Uh, that wasn't a dirty reference, by the way. Uh, right, what were we after? There are these. What's this? Lizard egg. Why the hell are they dropping lizard eggs? I thought that was one of the enemies. So. Oh, box. Oh, we have to go toolbox. Right, let's just do that. And a bunch of uh, copper and stuff. Look how much copper and iron we've got just from these loot boxes. Oh, we did get a bunch of wings. Not entirely sure. Do we have the wings? Oh my god, it's the mini boss! Hello? You were useless. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Okay, apparently we didn't have tall wings, so it's good that we did. Oh my god, we had a snail, which is bad. What's this? Shit, blasting on directions. Okay, that's. Hmm. It's okay. I actually. I didn't actually know that that thing existed. <laughs> Uh, this is a melee and a minion armor set. I don't like the I don't like cross arm sets. Like some of them are okay if they've got a purpose, but some of them just really have no purpose whatsoever to be one. I'm just gonna go and just you know fire one of these down just for them guys that decide that they want to go down there. Oh my god. Yeah, this event definitely has been buffed. I mean, that mini boss, he was quite cool. He is literally like a an ogre. We're getting a bunch of like just random stuff. We're getting a bunch of like jungle spores. <laughs> I mean, you know, jungle spores I normally absolutely hate finding, so you know, I can definitely see why. Oh, what was that? Did you guys see that? Hold on. Was that the mini boss? Oh. Uh, right, is there anything else? I mean, my NPCs are going around and killing stuff. Right, we don't have to stun. We're after a thing called a dice zombie. And uh, this event lasts the entire night. Oh, we got a pink all over. Remember when then guys were pre armored and they were really tough? I remember them times. 
I keep thinking that that ghost is, um, um, yeah, it's, um, is an enemy. I don't like the fact that they actually increase it. There is actually one for alchemical, and it's a gird pet, but it doesn't actually increase it, I checked. Kind of just says it's another one of the broken accessories. Like, why put something if it doesn't actually do it? I mean, how the hell could that be broken? Like, how the hell can it be working that it just breaks? Unless you change it. You know what I mean? It's a bit weird. But I feel really slow. Oh, it's because I had the chill debuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, look how many buffs we've got already. Then we've got this as well. We need the dryad, you know. Come on, dice zombie. And we do have our instavator here. It would really be useful to have a... Uh, a dice zombie. Is that actually what we're here for? Because I do not want to have to do this again just because the scroll is a little bit hard to make. What the hell? Tremor does have some really good sprites actually, but I'm hesitant to com com um com compliment. There we go, because I know not all of them are tremors, so... Do any of these go through the fire? Oh, that one did. I guess this one kind of does as well. That flask is actually really cool. Luckily... Um, yeah, luckily because of the, the windows that we've added in here, like the NPCs can, they can shoot. Okay, right. Oh, what the hell? A Marshana? Oh my god, that was a dice zombie! But he didn't drop a head! I'm worried that there's too much loot on the floor. I mean, a lot of them are dropping down that insta-bay as well. Ah... Uh, let me just throw a bunch of these down, just in case. Right. Maybe let's just come across here. Oh, is that? Oh, there is a bag there. Please give me void bars. They give me nothing. I'd rather give me nothing. Um, and else than that. Oh god. Oh god, it took it out. <laughs> I thought that guy was a post mill or then. Maybe he's a post Montero one or something. I don't know. Still, I'm not gonna dice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do you know what? We'll keep, we'll keep doing it anyway, just in case. Um, yeah, we do end up getting another one. But that's good because that means that now we don't need to find one. <gasps> Void bars! Good! But we can't get another one. Okay, we've got two dice. <laughs> it's actually really useful because that means that if we die to the Trinity, which we probably will, then that means that we don't need to do another one. Do you know what? Really cool event, I really like the Night of the Undead, but we don't need to do it anymore. <laughs> right, there is a bit of fruit stone. I'm just gonna go and just grab everything else. Right, is this just for anything? Apart from, oh yeah, we've already had a look at this, right. Literally means that there's no bones. I don't know why I'm picking up carrots and pickaxes and everything. Right. Um. Should we go and take out a pillar? <laughs> Or should we do that in the next episode? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do that in the next episode. Let's see what else we need to make the, the Stone of Knowledge. Oh, I don't know why I've just picked up the altar. Right, we need more Luminite. That's for sure. Um, everything else is fine. Right, how much Luminite can we make? Or can we make any at all? Okay, we can make four. <laughs> uh, should we try... 
Let's do it. I have a feeling that this is going to go well. If we use our mount as well, then this should go okay. Oh god, of course it's a bloody sandstorm. I hate the sandstorms, honestly. Um, apparently I can't summon them because of the pillars. So all I need to do to turn these into the celestial ones. Right, here he is, and... I'm hoping that this is not going to lag us too much. Right, let's use our... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, our OP ones. Our cluster ones. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! And do you know what? I might just say that this episode's over. We killed the space whale. That's about it, really. Oh yeah, a comet has hit the ground, isn't that right? Yeah, should we go and find the comet? Because we've got literally nothing else to do. I don't know where the comet would have hit, but that's basically something that happens when she killed the, um, the space whale. So let's go have a look. Oh god, we've got to get past the sandstorm. Oh my god, and of course you shall. Be gone. Get back in the bin. <laughs> As I said, you should be attacking me. I made you. <laughs> that sounds really dirty. Anyway, let's have a look. Now this biome, it's a mini biome. It's not a proper biome. But basically what it does is it causes you to get frostburn when you're near it. So, got to be very careful. Oh god, the vortex pillar. Right, of course the comet is in the vortex pillar. But you know what, we're doing the vortex pillar. As you can see, a bunch of the, the mobs like Astra flies and Galacta squids, they're from the, uh, uh, yeah, they're from the comet. Well, let's just deal with this pillar. I guess we'll do the, um, the, uh, the nebula and the, the nova pillars, um, in the next episode then. <laughs> because I want a bit of time just to spend doing this pillar. Because this pillar's quite cool. And also, I feel like this episode's a bit too short, even though I know that the last one was quite long. I just I don't think it'd be very fair to have a short one afterwards. Right, yeah, this is doing a lot of damage. I really like these flasks. I think they're really cool. I don't know whether I'm standing still a bit too much, it's going to cause me to take a bit too much damage. Anyway, so... Oh, we do go and get a charged crystal and a comatite ore. I feel like the, the Stone of Knowledge, or Anders is a boss summoning item, that should have required um, the stuff that you get from the comet, just because what the comet isn't actually that useful, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, let's just go and put um, this over here. Uh, yeah, and then we can go and let's keep the crystal. We'll keep the ore because I think uh, the I think we get the ore from the thingy as well. Please can I just get past. I have no interest in talking to you. I don't know why I accidentally clicked on you. <laughs> right. Right, suspicious bag. Uh, no void bars that time. Vortex pillar. Where's what is the vortex pillar? Right. <laughs> this pillar, like, vortex is one of the easier ones again. Like, as long as you can kill the mobs quicker and, like, not make it so they keep spawning. Then again, that could be a shield anti You could keep getting the aliens to queens to spawn from the little ones. They could constantly keep killing them. That is a strat that people actually do for this pillar, I and mean, it's a bit like the starters where they let the cells keep multiplying. Apart from, in my opinion, it's, it's harder uh, with the, the cells and what it gets with them and everything else. So, let's just come back here. Right, ow! This is really hard! <laughs> I feel so unprepared for this pillar. Literally, I do. And oh god, it's sand. Well, literally, I mean, like a vortex sandstorm. There is actually something like that from Sacred Tools called like a shadow flame vortex, and it's when you're fighting nihilists. Quite cool little thing. Right, come on, and. 
No, back off. Back off. Back off. Right, there we go. That's that pillar done. And these guys can go. Right, too, what we'll do in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.